Hey YouTube and Sendar here. There's been quite a few comments asking if I could do an energy video and I am working on one uh, for new players and how to speed that process up and get lots of energy. This one today I'll be showing a quick way to get 28 energy by picking up the C nodes on the northern end of the game world. I'm going to zoom out a little here. You can see there's tons of nodes up all around off the shore, the northern coast here. And these actually give energy, but you have to discover them. I did this a couple months ago in the whole process. I want to say it took me about three or four hours, but that was with a raft. Uh, you could do the swimming, I suppose. You want to at least have a raft. Better yet, fishing boat. And there does seem to usually be a lot of these on the marketplace, so it might be worth picking this up. It'll probably save you a lot of time. Or just get a friend from the from your guild, or even ask maybe a general chat if somebody will take you on a tour. To find these, well, to find which energy you're missing, if you haven't, if you have done some of these or not, you can pull up knowledge under character. You'll see node manager down here. And you can see the energy you get for just meeting the node managers. You also get knowledge on the locations and a bunch of NPCs. I'll now pull up a quick map here that I actually used months ago. There is more islands in the game now, so you can actually maybe get more than 28 energy from doing this. And it will probably take longer. But you can see, you start down here. Velia. You can actually start wherever you want. That's where I started. I just kind of hopped from island to island. You can see these are color-coded. I'll put a link to this article as well. It's a pretty good how-to and puts these in categories to make it a little easier. You can do this in multiple parts too, like go out and do maybe the eastern half and then another day do the western half. But once you pick up all the same color here, you'll get the energy for that particular group. And this will really add up, and it's pretty quick. You just have to go island to island, so the faster the vote, the faster this will be. I will say as a warning, there is some invisible walls especially on this one up here it might be a little hard to get to you could probably do this at any level there is some pirates I believe on some of the islands as I recall but you can easily avoid them the big thing is you don't want to die you can also pause this now if you want to take a look at this and I'll also post a link the other thing to watch out for let's see if there is one currently Okay, I don't see any. If you look in the map, sometimes you'll see a swirling hurricane-like thing. You want to try to avoid that. You can also see... Oh, here's one right here. Yeah, you, you're going to want to avoid these things. It's kind of like a funnel cloud will throw you in the air, apparently. I've always avoided them. But keep an eye on your map, because they do move and pop up. And you can see I'm heading to this first node here. And just to look at the actual nodes. These actually have resources too that you put workers on. I've tried a few of them. Didn't really seem worth it. Maybe if you need a particular fish to dry out or something, but it's slow. One way to also speed this up, when you're going to the different islands, you actually discover the island before the node manager. So when you land on the island, just right click on the node after you get the knowledge or you get close enough. And it'll actually give you an auto path right to the NPC. There is some other things on these islands and hot spots and you know different things to do. Mobs, some treasure. So this is a pretty fun adventure. And like I said, 
With the fishing boat, it'll take you less than four hours. Subscribe for more Black Desert stuff. I will be doing a couple videos probably on the knowledge since it's pretty involved. And again, thanks for watching. Have a good weekend.